Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Adam Cooperstein. That slow roll to reopen New York is underway right now. And five regions across the state are reopening after meeting state criteria. But all other areas remain on pause until May 28th at the very earliest. That includes New York City, Long Island, and the northern suburbs. And another sign that New York is on the path forward, Governor Cuomo announcing today that horse racing tracks and auto racing at Watkins Glen International can reopen and hold competitions starting June 1st. However, no fans are going to be allowed. Meanwhile, social distancing enforcement getting stricter at some of the most popular parks in the city. That includes Piers 45 and 46 at Hudson River Park, Domino Park in Brooklyn, and Sheet Meadow in Central Park. Now, city beaches, they're also being watched closely. They're not open, but as you can see, crowds flock to Coney Island today anyway. A lot of masks, but not a whole lot of social distancing, not a lot of space for it. News 4's Miles Miller on the boardwalk with the new enforcement plan from the NYPD. How's this going to work, Miles? Well, the NYPD is not any more involved in the enforcement angle of people yet not social distancing. They're going to be talking to people uh, if they're in large crowds. They're going to be handing out some masks, but it's going to be more than that. Here in Coney Island, we're seeing so many people out here. Some have masks, some do not. The NYPD is going to be reminding them that they should be wearing masks. But I want to show you down the famous Nathan's uh, hot dog stand here. It is packed with people who are trying to get in this nice weather today. New Yorkers flock to city beaches and parks by the thousands. In Central Park, access to the Sheep Meadow limited, but plenty of space to jog and ride. Stuart Whitney was one of them. It's awesome. It's a nice reprieve from being stuck in your apartment. At Hudson River Park, where overcrowding is known to be an issue, cops on patrol giving out masks. Those laying out reminded by signs that social distancing is a must. <laughs> At Coney Island, beachgoers clad with masks on the boardwalk. Most shops closed, but plenty of people enjoying the sun with masks. People have been home for the last uh, two months. They're tired of being home. They want to get some fresh air, and they want to live their life. Police were on hand to make sure no crowds gathered. And if you do the right thing in terms of protecting yourself, you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. Under the governor's guidelines for reopening, expanding testing is key. By next week, the city will be offering testing across the five boroughs at 23 sites run by the Health and Hospitals Corporation. We want to get New Yorkers to come in and get tested so we can know who has coronavirus and we can help you to know what you can do to keep yourself and your family safe. Some 535 people are in training right now. They're expected to be hired as tracers, trying to find people who have been exposed to the disease. And they're not healthcare workers necessarily, they could be your neighbors. Who better to trace or to find the contacts that somebody might have been in touch with than somebody that lives in that community? And take a look all on the beach right now. You see that red flag, which means that nobody can swim on the beach. But they also don't want to see that. That's a group of people sitting together on the beach. Unless they live in the same apartment, the city is telling people that they really shouldn't be doing any large gatherings like this. It, they think that if people continue to gather like this and continue uh, to not look at social distancing as something that's important for them, they feel the numbers, the indicators, the key indicators that will get us out of this will continue to go up. We're on Coney Island. I'm Miles Miller, News 4 New York. And enforcement is so difficult, as you showed us there. Miles, thank you. In New Jersey, state officials confirmed 1,200 new cases of coronavirus and 115 more deaths yesterday. That brings the total lives lost to over 10,200 in the state. And those numbers are harrowing, but the infection rate in New Jersey continues to slow down. And that's why the state's preparing to open beaches for the summer. Meanwhile, Governor Murphy says chartered boat services and watercraft rentals can start operating again tomorrow at 6 a.m. We will require specific social distancing and sanitation measures to be followed, including the implementation of online or telephone payment systems to further lessen direct person-to-person -person contact, among other procedures spelled out in my order. And what the city of Hoboken is doing, they're going to close down streets to car traffic and allow residents to spread out, walk around a bit. Streets between 3rd and 11th are closed from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Saturday and Sunday. And Connecticut just reported 618 new cases, 54 new deaths. The state now has more than 3,300 known deaths. And across the tri-state, more than 530,000 people have been diagnosed with COVID-19. More than 36,000 people in total.
have now died.